Good morning, friends. Today we'll be discussing the question on dietary fibers, which has come in the university exam. So the type of question which has come is, what are dietary fibers? Give examples. Mention their significance. Now, first, what are dietary fibers? They are indigestible carbohydrates which are present in the food. Give examples. Examples of dietary fibers include cellulose, pectins, gums, mucilage. Now, these are not digested by the enzymes of the human GI tract. Now, what is the significance? The next part of the question is the significance of the dietary fibers. There are eight points, so make sure that you remember these eight points. First, it has a water holding capacity. So it acts like a sponge, it absorbs water and thereby it will increase the viscosity and adds bulk to the whatever we diet we take in and this increases the transit time in the gut. Second point is the physiological effects. That is, it is exerting its effect along the entire GI tract. Third, adsorption of organic molecules. So, it, these dietary fibers absorb organic molecules like bile acids, sterols, carcinogens, toxic compounds and it facilitates their excretion. Fourth point, it increases the bulk of the stools and thereby it will reduce constipation tendencies. Fifth point, it has a hypoglycemic effect, that is it improves glycemic control, it uh, increases glucose tolerance and sensitivity to insulin, and it has a beneficial effect on diabetics. Sixth point, it has a hypolipidemic effect, that is it reduces the plasma lipid levels it decreases the absorption of dietary cholesterol. It binds to bile salts and reduces their movement through the enterohepatic circulation. And it increases the excretion of cholesterol as bile salts. So thereby it has a hypolipidemic effect. It has an effect on obesity. The fiber gives a feeling of satiety. That is you have a feeling that you are full and it will prevent the consumption of excess calories that is more food is it prevents the consumption of more food and lastly eighth point it prevents cancer particularly it reduces the incidence of colon cancer thank you